Hello everybody, this is Doug and today I'm coming to you from a brand new country for me, the Philippines. So I'm here in Manila right now. I'm here with Molly. Everyone say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so today is just going to be my first impressions walking around. We'll hopefully eat some very delicious food and show you some of the sights that you can find here in this gigantic Asian mega city of Manila. Okay guys, so where we are right now, the first stop today is Jose Rizal Park. And Jose Rizal is kind of the national hero of the Philippines. He was uh, a resistance figure during the Spanish colonial rule and he was eventually actually executed by the Spanish occupation. Uh, in 1896. He was a poet and a propagandist for the independence movement and so this park is dedicated to him. It's right in the center of Manila. Very beautiful, very green, lots of families here on this Sunday just enjoying the nice weather but extremely hot weather. I'm probably going to be several shades redder by the end of this video <laughs> but we're doing our best. Okay guys, what else? Um, so we had breakfast this morning. We stopped off at a little cart on the road where we had beef sisig, which was the sizzling plate of delicious meat and egg, and beef pares, which was this uh, beef soup. Very delicious, what did you think? Very delicious. Very good. Anyway, we're gonna be continuing on. We're heading towards Intramuros, which is the oldest part of the city of Manila, and apparently it is totally preserved as it was during Spanish, uh -oh. during the Spanish colonial era here. And apparently it's one of the most beautiful parts of the city. Let's go. All right guys, here we are. We are entering the old walled city. So the entire thing is still surrounded by this wall. You can see the name right there, Intramuros. And here we go. A lot of people here selling tours and whatnot. They're saying there's no way we can do it all on foot, which is probably true, but we're gonna start out on foot and see what we see and then maybe we'll get a ride for some of it. Well, let's take a look and just enjoy it. Here we go. I love these stores, guys. They're just convenience stores, but they're covered in these trees and plants and nice and shady, which is very important because it is very, very hot here. Not quite Iraq hot, but it's getting there. So everything is colonial here, guys. You've even got the Starbucks in this nice colonial setting. Very cool. I actually love when the modern brands kind of integrate into these historical places. I just think it's cool. Adoration Chapel from 1571, wow. So the guys that were trying to sell us the tours outside were saying it was gonna take us five or six hours to walk around this place to see the three main sites, which are a couple of churches and uh, Santiago Fort. Santiago Fort is the furthest one. I just put it in Google Maps and it's a 15 minute walk from here. <laughs> so just be aware of uh, these kind of tourist offers outside places like this because they're not always telling you everything. <laughs> Turns out it is perfectly walkable in here and very pretty with all of the old buildings. Okay, so with that being said, we have reached the first stop which is St. Augustine Church or San Augustine. Here it is. It is over 450 years old. Very cool. Let's go inside. I'm mainly excited to get out of the sun for a second. Okay guys, so we just came out of the San Augustine church. We're walking along now and we're coming up to this church, a second church, and this is the Manila Cathedral. It was actually built in 1571 in the same year as San Augustine and uh, we're gonna head inside in a second. This square here actually really, really reminds me of like squares that I've seen in Mexico, which makes sense because it's another uh, Spanish colony. And a lot of times in Mexico, you'll see, you know, a big cathedral on a central square like this with food vendors and, you know, trees and flowers and all sorts of things around. So cool to see that uh, similarity on the other side of the world. Okay, surprise guys, we walked in there and saw a wedding happening. <laughs> so we got to see the bride come down the aisle and everything. And everyone was dressed up very nicely. Apparently at weddings in the Philippines, it's not only the bride who can wear white, because there were a lot of other ladies wearing white dresses. 
and so we weren't sure who it was at first, but then it was very clear. We're continuing on now. We've got one more stop here in Intramuros, and then we're heading over to the Chinatown area to grab some food, so stick around. Okay guys, we have arrived at our last stop, which is Fort Santiago. This place also dates back to 1571, so the Spanish were building a lot here, obviously, during that time period. And uh, since then, it has served as a base for occupation forces from Spain, the UK, Japan, and the US. Really, really nice place here, close to the water in Manila. All right guys, so you can see the building behind me here it looks very different than the Spanish colonial architecture that we've seen around a lot of the rest of Intramuros. That's because this is actually U.S. military barracks. So the U.S. occupied the Philippines as a U.S. territory from 1898 all the way until 1946. Ten hours after the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor in 1941, they actually began an attack on the U.S. territory of the Philippines. Now, after the Japanese captured Manila, they actually used these U.S. army barracks as a prison. And it says right here that they actually imprisoned Senator Elpidio Quirino, who would actually go on to become the second president of the Philippines in the newly independent Philippines. So, just an incredible amount of history that has happened here from all different phases of, uh, of, this, of this country's history. All right guys, so now we've entered the main part of Fort Santiago. This is the Plaza de Armas, or like the square of guns, cannons, that sort of thing. This has the true Spanish colonial architecture vibe. This dates all the way back to the 1500s, like I said. And this is the most fortified part of the fort because it kind of sticks out right to the edge of the sea. And we're gonna go check that, that out in one second. Okay guys, and straight out of that tunnel, we come to the end of the Pasig River, which comes from within Manila and drains out that way into the Bay of Manila. I'm on the outer wall. Yeah, this is the edge of the fort. Now we are going over to Binondo, which is the Chinatown area of Manila. It is very hot. It's time to go eat some even hotter noodles and dumplings. Perfect. All right, guys, we are on a Lamborghini tricycle, also known as a scooter with a sidecar attached. So we're sitting in the sidecar and uh, we're on our way to the Chinatown of Manila, also known as Binondo. This is a very popular mode of transportation here, at least in this part of town. Uh, I've been seeing them all over the place. And there he goes. So that's how it works. There's another one. There's the, the Chinese dragons on the lampposts. And you can see here, even uh, the signs for a lot of the stores or banks or whatever have Chinese characters on them. Pretty cool. Hello, here's the picture. That's short, right? All right, guys, we have made it inside. Uh, this place is called Chuan Ki. Uh, apparently, it's the oldest fast food place in Chinatown. It's been around since 1940. I didn't even realize that it was so famous when I looked it up because I just found it on Google Maps, but there was a line out the door. It took about 25, 30 minutes, which I hope was worth it. I think it will be because the food looks and smells amazing. This Chinatown, Binondo, here in the Philippines is actually the oldest Chinatown in the world. It was started in the 1500s. Oh, thanks. I thought that was for you. Good? It's a little fishy. Really? It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Mmm. It's really good though, yeah. Mm. Alright guys, so this is stir-fried cha mi, it's called. It has a little bit of seafood, I think a little bit of pork, maybe some chicken. Not really sure, but it is delicious. Mm. All right, and then we've also got some shrimp dumplings here off the dim sum menu. Molly, do you want to do the honors? Go ahead. Give it a try. Yeah. A little chili oil, 
Oh my god, that was almost a disaster. <laughs> what was that? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, cut, cut. I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh, well done. <laughs> oh, how is it? Really good? Okay, I want to try. Here we go. With the chili oil? Yeah. So good. And last up, we've got some Xiaolong Bao or soup dumplings. It's hot. Delicious. They're not too hot, and um, normally you're supposed to bite the edge and like drink the soup out, but I didn't feel like there was enough room on the spoon, so I just went for it. It's safe to do so. You can you can go ahead now, Mom. Now that you know it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> Big mouthful. <laughs> good. Very good. All right, so we're gonna finish up here, and then we'll see you in a few. Okay guys, we're walking along and we've come to a market. It's like a pet market, like the one that we saw in my Mexico City videos, but unlike there, you are allowed to film here. So check out these very cute puppies. Hello, hello, yes, hi. You got golden retrievers, you got a little husky, husky, you got some, uh, oh, it's so cute. They're very happy and excited. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> you get stuck in there? Oh, he's biting the wire. Ow! <laughs> and we've got some parakeets, more doggos. Look at this, is that a chow chow? Wow, so cute, man. These are tiny, 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 tiny. The size of my hand, amazing. I asked the price of one of the puppies and it was 5,000 Filipino pesos, which is like 90 US dollars, not bad. Okay, and we asked about the uh, huskies, and they're ten thousand, so like one hundred and eighty dollars. Okay. Oh, look at the little kittens. We've got kittens here. Yes, hello. Yeah, and dark, dark, very tan. Yeah. Yes, hello. Thank you. <laughs> How much are the kittens? Two thousand. Two thousand? Wow. Okay. So that's like 40 bucks, 36 dollars or something. Wow, for a kitten. How old are they? Uh, three months. Three months, huh? So cute. Aww. Alrighty guys, I think now is a good time to end the video. Always good to end with puppies. So I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a quick look at some of the main things that you can come and see here in Manila, the Philippines. But other than that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.